Let's close our eyes and uh, relax our bodies, relax our minds. Turn loose to the thoughts of the day. Bring your full attention to this moment, to this place. And think of this as a circle of light. And use your imagination and see this circle of light reaching upwards to the realms of divine love and light. And those on the realms of love and light are reaching down to us in their thoughts. And we're reaching up to them in our thoughts. When we channel, remember that each one in the circle is as much of the channel as the one who speaks, because you are lending your life force to the circle. <laughs> Hello, Ron. Good evening, my beloveds. It is good to see your laughter and to hear your laughter and to see your merriment. We are pleased that you feel this wonderful feeling of joy and release when you come to the center. This is an oasis in the middle of your city, and I would have you to think of it as such. It has been here uh, by your counting 16 years now at this particular spot, and each day much love is poured into this center and around it and surrounds it. You might consider doing that also, remembering that it is a play for those who are open and are ready can come to to enlarge their understanding about life. And yes, it is true there are many more opening up to the truth many more that do not even know that they are opening up now are getting ready to break out of the shell of what shall we call it shell that they've enclosed themselves with illusion misconcepts and everything else that goes with the physical plane Tonight, let us talk about expansion. In your life, you have come to a place that you are ready to expand your consciousness. You have been working with expanding your consciousness, most of you in this circle, for some time. And you are ready now to move much higher and to a larger expanse for an consciousness. I would like to have you to consider that if you were going to have to use measurements of tolerance payments for your language, but less suppose that you were in Lawrence Chair consciousness five inches or even just one inch every day and made it a part of your consciousness. In other words, hold on to it. How much larger it would be in your time. Have you ever stopped to consider this? That you must hold on to it each day and not slip back. But if you just enlarged it a little bit each day and build your foundation strong and solid so that it is yours and that you know that you own it, then 
in a year's time, it would be 365 times that in your counting. And in a lifetime, it would be a lot more, would it not? So, it does not take a giant, it does not take great leaps and bounds to get to where you really want to be. It takes a steady progress of moving forward and being consistent with your growth, with your understanding. And when you can do this day in and day out, then you march forward towards your goal. This is not easy for you on this plane, is it? And I hear some of you say, well, I slipped back a little bit this week and I had a bad day and so on. And this is a part of your growth. We do not condemn you for this. We do not even measure uh, how much you should grow. We just love you and want to help you. And so we make suggestions at times so that you might consider them and think about them. And it is very, very important that you not condemn yourself, that you not feel guilty if you seem to slip back a little every once in a while. When you reach the place where you can have a steady march forward, then you will have reached a plateau that you will never come back from or never drop away from. And some of you have reached different plateaus in your growth and are reaching forward for more of the same. You see, my dear one, love is the key to all things. And if you can remember this and can keep this in your consciousness and keep it in neon lights before you as you go through your day, then you need not slip back any day. It is your attention that you lose and give it to the illusions of this world is where you lose a step or two along the way. And when you give your attention to the illusions, then in for a short time you are believing in them. And when you allow them to upset you, then you are believing in them. Now this may sound tonight as if I am scolding you, and I do not mean to do this. I want to draw your attention to the potential that you truly have, the potential that you could move into if you could get out of some of your ruts. And I guess this is more or less a sermon tonight because it is something that each one of you need to consider. Now, think about the last month, the last two or three months, and when you get up to go to work, do you feel pretty much the same every day? Do you move in the same uh, way? Uh, do you get through your day and say, well, this is another day I've got through, and come home to rest, and, and so it's the same cycle. And it is easy to get entrapped in these ruts on the physical plane. You may not see this in yourself. You may not be able to. But I would have you to take a closer look and see if this is not true. If you could take time to take an inventory of yourself, post scrutiny, 
to look at yourself and see what is happening in your life in an overall view from, from a larger picture than just a day-to-day -day view. Take a, take a look at three months, six months, and maybe write it down. See how you have been doing. Some of you are going forward, and some of you are going forward a little slower, but all of you have the right motives, and all of you are doing much, much better than 97% of the people on this planet. And we love you for it. Because you see, you are the channels that we work through from this side of the veil. And we need more like you to work through. When you send God's love from the physical point of view, we can do so much more with it we can send God's love to your planet, but because of the free will that you have on your physical plane and the free will of the planet, it can do only so much. And it is very difficult to explain to you the difference in this. But as you are an inhabitant of this plane, you see you have much more authority than we do if you can understand this. And when you send love, it has so much more power, so much more ability to help the planet and those on the planet than when we send it. We are there to help each one of you to grow and to expand and to move your consciousness higher. But with your free will, you can say, oh, I don't feel like it today. I think I'll goof off, and I think I'll complain, and I think uh, I just may not even go to work, and whatever you feel. From listening to myself tonight and to this, it is, does sound like a much different message than we usually give you, but it is sometimes necessary to speak plainly to you, to help you to see, to understand. And if we just reach one person in this room tonight with the message that can move out of a rut that they've been in and move forward, then it is worth it. We come to you in God's love and with great love for you, for we have been with you much, much longer than you can even imagine. We have been brothers and sisters over long eons of time, of whatever you think of as time. And we are indeed much, much closer than any of your family, physical family members that you had. Most of the time, when you come into a family, or a large percentage of the time, I should say, uh, it is to work out karma. But there are many close, close friends that you have, that you have known at other times, another lifetime. Some of them have graduated from the physical plane not to come back again. And they are watching over you when they get a chance. It is not their particular job, maybe, to do this, but they do check in on you because of the love that they have for you. And I would have you to know this, that there are many, many that you do not even consider who love you deeply, an unconditional love that goes far, far beyond any physical love you could think of. When you can understand this and know this, and when you feel them nudging you at times, uh, give them, uh, send them God's love. And let me uh, 
try to convey to you, we we're having a little bit of trouble with the channel tonight, uh, and this is why it's not coming out so well. Uh, there was uh, someone else who was going to speak, and it was decided at the last minute that I speak with you. Okay. Let me help you to understand that you are very, very close to being free from this plane. You're very close to being what you call a master, much closer than you think. And I would have you to understand this. It is just a small way for you to go and if you can give enough value to this becoming a master and becoming free of these lower dimensions, you can do it in this incarnation. And this is the largest message that we have for you tonight. And it has been said before by Donald, and maybe you have heard it at other time, but I am saying it emphatically tonight that you do have the ability to reach the, your freedom because there is so much more power on this planet than ever has been before. We have talked to you about the new age much and the increase in the vibration every day. And when the you reach your freedom, then you may want to pass this on to others. At least half of you in this room have the idea of helping others in some capacity uh, in before this incarnation is over. And some of you are already helping others but I mean in a much greater spiritual way. And as you raise your consciousness and expand yourself, you see, then you have the ability to do this. You cannot give something away that you do not have. And I am not saying that you do not have much, but I am saying that you have to be free enough to... free enough from the physical plane so that you can have the freedom to be used as a channel for us and God to work through. There are thousands and thousands every day on your planet who are waking up now. They are waking up slowly and some of them are waking up rapidly. And you do not see this, but from our point of view, we do see it. And let me try to explain how we see it. We see a light, a sparkle, and we know that they are waking up even before they know it. Because the light, it is like the shell has been broken and letting the light out from within and the outer shell like the baby chick cracks the shell and then has the freedom to move about and is not enclosed in the shell. Most on this plane is just like the baby chick that is still in the shell and they go about their routines in a haphazard way or they are searching in ways that are destructive, but it is still they are searching for God and for their, their true self. But they are in this shell, and until they crack the shell and allow the light to come forth, they cannot see the way. They cannot understand how they can move higher in consciousness how they can move above and beyond the physical plane, as you call the word metaphysical. Should I pause at this time and 
give you an opportunity to ask questions. Considering the expanded thought of sending love out and you and others of your like being able to utilize that, could you expand on that for us? We send love uh, to the whole universe every day and we are a channel that God works through. We are assigned to the planet Earth. Uh, those uh, who I work with, and some of you know, many, many that you do not know, and we send love to your planet and to each one of you. We call you our charges because we are responsible, in a sense, for you and we watch over you, but you still have your free will, and we cannot invade that. But we send love to you. But the difference between us sending love and your sending love to the physical Earth planet is much different. This is what you're asking, is it not? Yes, I was caught kind of off because I understood you that our love mutate and enhance it. And... Yes, and it is multiplied many times. And because you are inhabitants of the physical plane, and so you have, because you uh, are renting your space, we might say, and have a contract for a certain amount of time, then you have more power on the physical than we do. Now, this may sound incorrect to some of you, and it is difficult for me to explain it to you, but you see, each dimension has its own laws, and each dimension is unto itself. Now, the dimension above it, each dimension above it, can have an influence on the dimensions below it. But as far as individual entities and their growth, the free will is involved. And when you send love, you see you are sending it from the earth plane. Does this uh, help your understanding? Here, some more. Some what? Yeah. You see, all of the universe is God's love. And when you know and understand this, then uh, you do not have to explain, <clears throat> excuse me, you do not have to put it into a language. It is known. And you live it. You breathe it. You eat it. It becomes a way of life that is so natural that until we come to your plane and see you struggling so much with things that are not necessary, that we understand what a great privilege that we have from our dimension. And we do see this on your plane, so many on your plane struggle so hard, and then when they come back home, they have nothing to show for it, or very little to show for it, because you see they have placed their values in the wrong place, because the things of earth are illusion, they are not eternal. Are there other questions? I have a question. Yeah. Um, I, and I know that the new age is coming. And I know that I have plans that are long range for myself as far as what I expect out of the new age and where I was. But it's, the things I lose sight of that when I'm not thinking about the center and not at the center. If there's something in why did you like and they didn't everyone else here that we can see it's evidence of the new age coming and things that I'm missing in the day? Yes, there is, and I, I am so pleased that you have asked this question 
because I did put it out into the ethers for one of you to uh, speak it forth. I would suggest that you have some kind of symbol that you use as you go through your busy, busy day and that you give this symbol much more value than you do the work that you do or whatever you do with your day and that this symbol is there where your physical eyes can see it. It need not mean anything to anyone else but if it is there for you to see, to remind you that it is there, then you can remember and you can send love more often through the day. You can keep your thoughts in a relaxed and peaceful and joyful and loving way. Does this help your understanding? It is good for you to um, think about this and think what kind of symbol can I have. Uh, Donald has told you that he wrote himself notes and left them where he would run into them, put them on his mirror where he shaved, and put one in his pocket and in the drawer where he kept his change and different things. And when he was working out of his car, he would have a note uh, attached to the dashboard. You see, things like this, something like this, for you to have in plain sight that can remind you that you are divine. You are not this physical body. You are not just humans. You are divine. And when you keep this in mind and know this, then you are free of the negative, heavy feelings and vibrations of this plane. You can lighten your day. You can lighten your load that you carry through the day. Are there other questions this evening? Could you expand on what dreams free of this plane a little bit more? Love is the key, my dear one. And if I could uh, pound this into your consciousness in a way that you could understand it without language, it would be so much easier. But when you learn to truly love yourself and love everyone around you unconditionally, without conditions, then, and to love the planet and everything on it and everything that is happening on it. Now think about this for a minute. The wars that are going on, I'm asking you to love them because this is the answer. Not to condone them, but to love them. Send love into them, but not be concerned about them. When you hold concern about something, that's a negative vibration, is it not? And do you know how many around this world are complaining about this and that and something else? and worrying about the things that are happening and worrying about their own little space in life. If you could see from this point of view how much of this goes on, then you see you are involved in this atmosphere of negativity and it does have a certain pull on you when you allow it to. And unless you have the truth really fastened onto the truth in your consciousness and keep it before you all through the day, the world negative vibrations will pull you down. And you know this because you have experienced it. So when you love yourself, 
truly love yourself, love all others and all of creation, then it is, makes it everything much easier and it will free you from this plane. But you must do it without conditions, without wanting something for yourself. Love it unconditionally and love everyone else unconditionally, expecting nothing back. Then you give it. It would be good to take this thought into your meditations at times. How can I love unconditionally? And go through your mind with the individuals that you come in contact with, with the work that you do, with the news that you hear. How can I love this unconditionally? When you learn to do that, you are free from this plane. Did this help your understanding? Yes. Very rapt thing. Yes. Other questions this evening? I would ask you this evening to consider what we have talked about in expanding your consciousness and keeping a record, uh, a conscious record of where you think you are in your soul's growth. You see, this keeps it before your conscious awareness and your mind and will help you to not allow yourself to slip back several days in a row without doing something about it. And immediately, when you feel that you are out of step with the rhythm of life, ask God to cleanse you of all past negation and send love ahead and send love unlabeled and all around you and many other places. When you are busy sending God's love, you are truly in step with the laws of life and you are in harmony with yourself. It is what you have come to the center to learn that will help you to be free from this lower dimension, and that is habit patterns. The motive for most of you, and perhaps all of you, when you first came to the center, is to be free from negative habit patterns, cleaning out your subconscious mind. Now, as you do this, think about making some positive habit patterns and make it a habit to send love so many times every day and give it value enough over your problems and the things that you do in the world to put it first. If you can do this, then you will be far upon your way to moving forward, and you will soon be free. It is difficult in these negative vibrations to hold your head above water or above the negative vibrations and into the clear air of God's love but you can do it because you have the power within you if you so choose. And it comes down to this, my dear ones, choosing what you will think, how you will feel, the moods that you will have, the attitudes that you have, moment by moment. And remember that you do choose every one whether you are conscious of it or not. 
it is your choice. There is, There are many from the this side of the veil who are here this evening and they are smiling their pleasure in being here with you and for those who are here for the first time you have those with you too and I would have you to know this we do not give names our personal readings in this class but Know this, that the ones that you love that are on this side of the veil are with you and you are never alone. And if you, this is another thing, if you could remember this, that we are here to help you and take advantage of the help that we can give you. You see, my dear ones, when you think of the power that is placed in our hands from these realms of love and light, and we can do nothing with it until you ask for it. But when you ask and open up to it in love and with love, then we can do miraculous things for you Many times through the day we speak to you and you hear us, but you think it is your thought. I would have you remember this. Are there other questions this evening? I have a question. Yeah. In reference to what you just said about listening to you as you help us throughout our days, uh, does everything come from you? Uh, how do we distinguish between when our personality and so it's getting her way opposed to a message and help from the higher realms. Yes, there no, I think not everything comes from us because you have some negative thoughts every once in a while, do you not? Yes. And there are many of your thoughts and there are thoughts when you have a negative thought, you see you tune in to the negative dimensions. When you have a loving thought, a bright, shiny thought, then you tune into the dimensions that are close to us. And that opens the door for us to help you. It is a matter of learning to discern. And the finer vibrations, the higher you go, the finer and more subtle the vibrations are. And when you um, want our help, just ask for it. Do not be concerned if this thought comes from you or it comes from us. I just wanted you to know that we remind you often through the day. Donald has become very much aware of when we are speaking to him, and it is his thoughts because he has had much practice and he has known this for many, many years in this incarnation. You have known it also, but he has had the privilege of this contact much longer than you have. And if you ask, keep asking, you will become aware that we have tapped you on the shoulder and said, uh, do you really want to feel this way? Or is this uh, the right way to think? Do you understand? Yes, thank you. It is with great pleasure and great love that we speak so plainly with you this evening. I do not think that I have spoken with this group so plainly before, but it is a great opportunity for me to open to you because I could not speak this plainly to you if you were not open for it. You see, the message, when it comes each Wednesday night, comes from you. Now, do you understand that? Yes. You see, uh, there are times when we decide, well, the subject matter is going to be this or that, but 
it doesn't wind up that way, as Donald would say. It, it comes out whatever you are needing, whatever your vibrations are vibrating at, whatever your thoughts have been and what you brought to this center, what your needs are. And tonight, what we have talked to you about has been a good example of this because it was not planned that we should speak to you so plainly uh, in advance. But the opportunity was here. And as I speak to you, your teachers and your guides and higher beings that are guiding us flash impressions to us. And in less than an instant, and give us the okay, or we, they may say in your words to take it easy, slow down a little, and tonight the door was open that we could talk to you more plainly and seek to help you to understand in your own language how to move forward more rapidly. Does this work as well on a one, one-on-one one basis also, if we're, our conscious level is high enough to, or our vibration bear at a level to... Uh... It, work, it works much better because, you see, it is just for you and not for the group. When you come as a, as a group here, you see, then everything is for everyone. It, that is said, when you learn to make contact with us, and you have contact uh, with us much more than you realize, when you learn more to be aware and to open up to it, then we can speak directly to you and for your individual particular needs. And I use Donald as an example uh, because he, you know him and do not think that I am favor giving him, a, uh, how should we say, do not misunderstand about it. But his way began by writing and he would sit down and write and we could give him impressions of what to write. It was not automatic writing. Now, it was inspirational writing. It came through his mind. And this is the way that he began when he first made contact with us on this side. And everyone has their own way and it may be a little bit different. Does this help your understanding? Yes, very much. Yeah. Do not ever fail to make contact with us just by thinking. We hear your thoughts just as loud as your words, and sometimes louder. If you will just think, Allah, help me with this. Jesus, help me with this. And what if you know your teacher's name, or just say, God, help me with this. You see, it all comes from God whether it's Eloah or Jesus or your teacher, it is coming from the source. It is coming from God. And know this within the deepest part of your being. And help me to understand this. Give me some guidance. Give me light so that I may see, so that I may understand. Then take some action. Do not just sit and wait for it to drop in your lap. Pick up your letters of scattered brotherhood. Pick up some other book. Start writing something. Start thinking how you could do it. You see, if you do this, then we can guide your thoughts because you have asked us to. You must remember this. Your free will cannot be invaded. But when you ask us for help, then... You have opened the door, 
And then if you take some action, or there are times when you can hear us with your thoughts, but you should record it also, because sometimes it will slip away and you will forget. If you keep a good notebook, as Donald says, on yourself, on your contacts with us, on your dreams, some of you, and what else, whatever else happens in your life, this is good because you can go back over your notebook for the last month, for the last three months, and you can see that you have moved forward, that you have grown, and that you understand now what seemed to be a problem a few months ago, or even yesterday. Are there other questions this evening? And just time for action. Uh, as you were explaining that, uh, asking for God's help or Jesus's or yours, uh, I felt the surge of, you know, some kind of uh, energy uh, that I just felt as you were speaking that. And at times throughout my day, I feel that kind of feeling where I'm personally inspired and uh, feel with a higher vibration uh, than what I'm used to. Is that a time to to act? But if I ask, is that time I will also be guided in, in reference? You will be you will be guided at any time, my dear one. That is a time that we may be tapping you on the shoulder, as you may say. You see, when we come into your aura, if you are open, you can feel this surge of energy. You can feel a, a ringing in your ears, maybe. Everyone has a little different way. Uh, it, sometimes you see more clearly. Uh, everything looks brighter to you. If you are open. Now, we are around you at all times. We are with you at all times. But when you open to us, then we can give you the life force, a little extra, so that you may understand, so that you may hear our guidance, so that you may have a hunch, or that you may stop worrying about something and start sending love instead. You started out with Donald saying, maybe you should have a bull session, and I think this has been kind of that tonight. It has been a little different, has it not? Yeah. And it is good. And I feel that your laughter and your openness when you, before Donald came in, this helps to open the door too. Remember to laugh often. Remember to be joyful. Let the laughter or the joy of life ripple through your being. Remember that it is always there. It is always your choice to feel down or up. It is always your choice to feel cheerful or sad. Always, my dear ones, every moment of time. And if you start feeling down, catch yourself right away and ask us for help and open up to us by sending God's love. This is one of the best ways that you can be open to us, is send us God's love, or send, to send God's love unlabeled. Has our time run out for the hour, or do we still have some time on the tape? A few minutes. Are there other questions that you would ask? It has been a joy to see to be with you and to be so open with you. It has been my pleasure. And could you know how close we feel to you? Because we are indeed brothers and sisters. We have been together for a long, long time. We have been many places, had many experiences together. And all of us who work with you have gone through all the experiences that you are going through. And so we understand, we know how you feel and how it is to be stuck in these lower vibrations. 
and I do not mean to, to make it seem dire, because you can be just as happy on this physical plane as you can be on the dimensions that I am on if you open the door and allow yourself to be. God bless you, my dear one, and good evening. Fantine Club. So is not fail. They can tell me together and the physical as we have them in theory. Now let us think of our one and all of our mouth were in the circle holding hands with us. Many, many admire the lowly are here with us and are all around us. Many tie and let us include them in our thought, in our classes, in our circle of mind, and especially in our mind. Well, I don't know how it came out. How did it feel? I'm great. I need a muscle pull. I felt a little bit out of tape, but to I don't cut the curve in the gumpkin screen. So, no, you don't need a curve at all. Is it so the oil you feel? Uh, Elwood, Elwood said that they changed um, the channel at the last minute and tossed it. Oh. We went out of read. This is where they kind of explain that they need to follow the grid. My word, we're cautious and fear what was needed and what was wanted. Currently, they will sell our keys to do it. Some times when I don't feel up, you know, with it, why well, he can uh, take it and make much more out of it for some reason. I don't know how to say that, but it has a way of doing it. Having worked with him for 20 some years, and we've been through the tournament. It's in their He probably can handle us better than a new voice here. We want to expand the moment. This on this. What's this about the other? Am I? It's consistent. Now, you know, I, uh, I am mentioned in those that I've been answering to criminal questions, and I'm told quite uplisted in the vibration uh, to a point that uh, I did quite often in the uh, Tempe the Swords class. It would be it. Uh, since attending the first class, I'd, I guess I'd really kind of, I kind of missed that and forgot that I even felt that I until tonight got Nick Lovo. Yeah, just all like going to come right out of my chair. Well, yeah, uh, and I'm old and me to kill that again. Yeah, for some of the classes that are just really are much more, I think. There's a tribe. The spiritual intensity is another one that's, uh, that comes after the meditation class. And we've gone through 12 weeks of meditating in different techniques. And then we have a six weeks follow up on that, using those techniques in a very intense way. And uh, it, like tapping the first cloud, but very high. You've taken that heaven there. Yeah, look, we have to. Yeah, do, ever. And Marion? Yeah, that's right. We had the little taste of that. Oh, it feels good. It's not a lot of fish. Boo. They kind of throw up a little bit with them. Things get much stronger, or for a little, whatever. Yeah, I guess I can have it where you go. You would want an on the bull, sir. I mean, it's it is so. You have memory from Mission Mirror. Do. Letter 46 says, Thou mentioned it. Did you want to have a bull, sir? She may mistake the other sort of loop. Well, it was just in power. Or loud words, but. Uh, he comes up with quite a few things. Oh. It was different. As the Oasis, uh, we have several professional writers. We are English, but someone's better than mine. 
And when he came, comes through there, I'm like, hey, you know, it's a different era. But actually, though, I have to use my little pen to marry the. Do you still to him? Uh, oh, and when you're the cop to see where it is that? I don't know what you mean. They're too wanting for safe for thinking, uh, it doesn't seem right to you, you think you will try. I could try it, but I don't know what I have. You still see not where God has. It took up a plate there. Then finally, you have cook. Oh. Dear Pauline, the channel, but we'll be in our table, freak stick. Well, they have a class for it. Well, who's taking the poor content in work? Yeah, I just point it out there. It's not learning how to channel, it's learning how to get in touch with your teachers and die. Some of you already have that, but they give a definite technique to the ones who have it. Uh, did you have that? That's to the very tuition cause it's in the time. Or after. after the time travel, yeah. After the ultra missile where it comes back time travel. I know. We used to have two time travels where we have a ultra dimensional wear. Oh, um, that's a tall thing. That'll be. And, and that's another class that's too high. Right. Where I, you know, it's like when I first got here, I installed it. It's like a, a double take to about three months ago. I got the piston plate. All of a sudden, I have a hunger for, or like more. I'm like, I don't know, maybe my consciousness so is just very, you know, a two eight ten inch. I'm like doing plan. And greatest virtue then. And Jabir, it's just wild or you yeah, actually being so aware of that sound. Thank you, time to face jump and yeah. that's the way I'm already going to as I wasn't really if I you were coming to town on time. I thought played the ball not coming. Oh, really. and there was an which that helped me I uh, hope oh, wow. go with Cohen. It's like each time I, I hold back and play the time all too is it you know, I get more out of that and fit them to stream. So, and when I first got in the group, I didn't miss the client. We met three times a week, like in Oklahoma, you know. Then they had to drive 60, 70 miles for, for two nights. They could freaking resting, you know, those many times when we are saying, well, when the good showing, to get it straight in. I've heard some people in the group relate some more and more things that fall in the states the word. I remember uh, fictions when he and he would short for a net, they did some very strictly intense stuff. The Hollerist tried to deny unkindness as true. That's going on, and yet when we steam those drops in the AC in our group, they that cleft more with dry ends, but in yeah. One of the things uh, if you really want to develop it, it just takes pay for quarter with you. And it has batteries in it, you know, if you're joining it, so you can't plug it down or anything like that. Turn it on, even browsing. Half of that, not half, about a third of that book, Love Story of the Sisters, 